<laughs> Welcome to Spooktober. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Dark Bear with Soma for Spooktober. Right, now, basically, I've already recorded this episode. Well, not this exact one, but I've already recorded this section of half an hour. So, I'm just going to quickly speed through this bit. 0722, that's the number you need to put in the computer over there. Okay, so we're going to run over there. Put in 0722. 0722. Because. Also, I don't know if I said it in the last one. But they're both called Carl. He's Carl, and the robot's Carl. Talking about the robot, let's go kill him. Now, ideally. Actually, no, I want to try something. Um, because if I put this in first, and I open up the rooms. Because last time I killed, I basically killed Carl. I left him with the really horrible power thing. Right? So that room's either there, or it's the one all the way over there. Now, I was an idiot before, because I thought, I knew this room, well, I didn't know what this map was. I tried to look at the map over, uh, over I forgot it's right click to get out of stuff. I tried to look at this one, but it's not really helpful, because there aren't any shapes like that. Plus, it's angled the wrong way. Sort of, I think. I don't think this room's facing north. I'm not sure. Anyway, doesn't matter. So, we go in here now that this room's open. And we can choose to not hurt Carl. And instead just flick the switch. Which opens up a lot of bad shit. I think that lets a menacing robot out too. Pretty sure it... Yep, it lets out the evil as shit robot. So, Power Manager, we need to do this quick. Right, run again. Come on, come get me, bitch. Okay, I was joking. I was joking. I was joking. You didn't have to kill me. You asshole. Right. So, crusher thing. I don't know what it says about crushing. Oh, maybe because if you were standing there, maybe. I don't know. I'm speaking really fast because I just want to get this bit over with and done as soon as I can. Bye bye, Mr. Robot. Right. So, um, first of all, we need to restore health. Oh, hello. What does that message say? I don't know. I thought it said something about health. Because I also realized something. Back with the cords, um, they had their suction, whatever you want to call it, their cables, plugged into this. And what happens when we touch this? we get healed. What happens when we take their plugs out of it? They die. So, more evidence that we're a robot. Because I basically think we're a robot at this point. I think we died, but we didn't have too much damage put to us. Okay, I'm going to be quiet and just let these play for you. Yep. 
We'll head for the shuttle and ride it directly to Theta. Okay, good. I'll rally the troops for a welcome party. <laughs> what I like to hear. Um, actually, I'll tell you, I'll ask you in a minute. Let's just get this bit over with first. Um, I think it's a Lambda, so 2203. There you go, connected. Let's talk to Sy Lambda. Hey, are you there? I found the dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared, Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Upsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pathos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. This is all so strange. You're telling me. Robots are the technicians. What was that? No! What's going on? I think this place is about At least to that's what I think. What do I do? I can't say for certain that it is. I'm just pretty sure that it is. How do I get there? Right, I'm not going to bother with moving around because either way, that happens. Shit, shit, and the place shit, floods. Right. Oh, there we go. So, okay, my question to you is this. Do you guys, if I can figure it out, want a webcam view? Because I can. I think I can do it. I think I've figured it out. I tried to do it with Outlast for the first episode. But it didn't work. But actually, I want to ask your guys' opinion because I don't know if the webcam's going to obstruct the camera view too much. What the hell? So it's completely up to you. How is this possible? There we go. More proof of a robot. This isn't... We can this breathe isn't underwater. Safe. However, a normal human being can't. So a uh, way that we say that we can is to have a scuba diving gear on, but as you can see, it appeared out of nowhere. So I'm very, very sure that we are actually a robot. Just because all this stuff is so unnatural. I reckon we we died, and that now we're a robot. Just like everyone else. Or oh, this is our, like, dream or something. I really hope it's a robot thing though. Because... You know, just oh, it was all a dream. It's a really lazy storyline, to be honest. It's almost as bad as the bloody oh, you can't remember who you are at all because you had a memory dysfunction. It's kind of oh, great. You did what everyone else has done for ages and ages now. Good job. Really creative of you. Um, so yeah, we just gotta go through this murky water for a bit. Now this light I walked into before, it is a bad light. It is a robot who wants to actually kill us. But he's saying he's helping us. So, I don't know what that's about, I must admit. Don't you love it? I will protect you with my life. I think Amy's dead. Actually, I'm not. Amy's probably just a. I don't know. I have no thoughts on that, actually. I don't know why I commented on it. 
Oh well. I have now. And it's going to be too unrealistic if I had it all just walking around out, so. Screw it, I'll look like a twat for a bit. What? What? Also, I'm really sad about England and bloody rugby. Why can't. I mean, one, they were giving away penalties to bloody Wales. I mean, at first I thought it was sympathy points, but I mean, today I'm actually half Welsh for once, not half English. This is new. Okay. I don't know what he does. He doesn't hurt me though, right? Yeah. I was gonna say, if I released him now he's like evil as shit. How are you, RTD2? You've uh, lost a bit of weight, I see. You following me now? Okay, you're not following me. Good. I mean, I love you, R2, and all, but, you know. But I have my personal space. Nothing against you or your person. Just need my personal space from robots. In case they go mental. Because they often do. Especially in horror games. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, I haven't made this joke yet. Under the sea. And no, I really shouldn't have said that at first bit, should I? Oh, well. It's hard recording something you've already recorded. Because you can't remember what you have said and you haven't sent. Said. I mean, like, I don't know if I've made the link. I've told you about the link between Carl and the robot. As in the fact that he might have died and now he's there. Um, this is the wrong way. Come on, bro, what you meant to be helping me? Bloody C3. No, you're not C3PO, R2D2. C3PO was more blooming Jar Jar Binks, like, a bit annoying. Jar Jar Binks? Why nobody like Jar Jar Binks? Oh, that was terrible. I'm sorry for that. I'm actually sorry. Come to the dark side, Luke. Mm hmm. <coughs> <laughs> For sake, today. Mm, come to the dark side, you must. I don't know why you would be saying that. The Jedi Force is strong in you. I know, but he doesn't talk like normal English. He talks like, Jedi Force is strong in you is. I don't know. I don't know. Sod it. I've forgotten how I do this. What are you doing? You're opening it for me. Okay, this is actually new. Thanks, little guy. Yeah. Ah, I saved your life, and now you repay me. Otherwise, I'd have to mess around with all those cables over there. So I could have done this without you, but hey, let's be friends. Also, I want to see what happens if you don't shut that door, because I didn't shut the door on the way in. Okay, it just does it automatically, because I shut the door. And defiltration. Whenever I think of defiltration, I always think of SpongeBob and Sandy. Like Sandy's Dome. I mean, it's been ages since I've ever watched SpongeBob again, but it sticks in my mind, and I don't know why. Let's hope the shuttle still work. I mean, like SpongeBob is meant to be a like representation of things. Like how starfish apparently lives under rocks. I'm, not, I'm still not sure about that, but I'm really sure that they never um, that there aren't any squirrels underwater. So where that came from? Unless that was like some things to say about Texas, because for some reason they made a squirrel Texan. Anyway, um, so we get on this iPad. We don't look at YouTube on it or anything like that. We packed event. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. But you can pause it and read. So, and then the next bit. 
Okay, that's enough time for you to read it. Video I need to actually put on there. Right, anyway, um, so that's obviously very apocalyptic, but things I also picked up from that was that, um, uh, <laughs> I've forgotten, was that, um, so he, she probably went off to adventure or do stuff in Soma, with, like robots and exciting stuff, and he was just at home. But it also suggests that he was going to die, so I don't know why that is. Here we go. More cables. Jesus Christ! What the hell? Maybe that was the immersion breaking? I'm not sure. Oh, insufficient power. Now, before... Like the first time I was recording it, it took me ages to figure out this tunnel was here. And even longer to figure out that you could crouch through here. But now I know, it's going to be a lot faster. So I'm not going to get to that good climax point that I did. And yep, there's a big climax incoming. Here's more proof. Of my theory. Are you? Don't hurt me. Can I help? They won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. Because you get turned into a robot. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. And also, look at the oil using every. I mean, it might be from that, but I also think it's from her. Anything I can do? If you see Masters of Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Now this is where she dies because we unplug it from this because we need the power. So I'm sorry, Amy. No. Shit. Are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know. I want to go home. And then talk to her before I kill her because it's yep. Oh yeah, it's dead. Oh fuck. Look at those tubes going ever, and look at how robotic her left side of the face is. It looks like Terminator. So, R.I.P. Amy. I think that was your name. It might not have been. So, uh, there we go. Have some shit thrown in your face. Go on, have it. Go on. Anyway, um, I said to rest in peace and threw a box at her face. Hmm. Typical day. Uh, it's not. Like no, I don't need to explain that joke. I think you'll realise that was a joke. Not that I... You don't go to graveyards and throw things in people's faces. Or at least I don't. Some people might. Same people who own about... I don't know. Several hundreds of cats, too. He's going... You can have a cat! It's mine! No! I don't want you to take my cat, actually! More cat! Bitch off! So we are going to Lambda. Checkpoint number one. I don't know why I call this checkpoint because this is shuttle. Oh! No, it's shuttle number two and we're in shuttle number two. Okay. This bit I like. This bit I like. Because I like trains! <laughs> as fucking childish as that sounds, I actually really do like trains and any sort of train. I mean, this is like the London Underground train. Because it's kind of like. 
It's like a more spacey version of it. And look, you get to train sim it. There we go. And last one. And boom. Wanna go to Lambda? Leaving Upsilon B. Train is departing. Mind the gap. But for now it's a woman's voice. I mean, not the sound sexist. It's just I don't know the London underground one's a male one, is it? It's just I like the way he sounds um so so I don't know. Just something about that voice. <laughs> that sounds gay as hell. Like actual game of being homophobic, is that the word? Without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. Look at that guy on the right though. Look at that guy. I mean that's the only thing I can remember really. Well, there's quite a few things I can remember, but like small bits of detail. That guy on the right. Hi. I just realised what that other robot I could have called him. I could have called him Wheatley. Oh bloody hell. Oh, I could have called him Wheatley. Hey? Okay. Could have called him. <laughs> yeah. This is me trying to do a uh, Stephen Merchant accent and. There's a climax. So we are now in new territory. Everything that happens after this, I have no idea about. Error, error, error. I actually made that joke last time, like before it happened. Because I knew it was going to happen this time, I made sure to not make the joke because it actually did happen. Anyway, let's get out of here if we can. How do we get out of here? Press the red button. Press the green button. Ah. Whoa, look at that fly. It's like fucking frisbee in here. Uh, yeah, I'd like a uh, pizza, please. Simon. Simon, are you there? Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> no, I'm not alright. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Under the sea. Oh, really out of place, are you? Oh, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What do you mean like it just said? Your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. I should know the whole structure didn't collapse. It's just that one bit. So are there more people alive? Well, Captain. are there more robots? Well, okay. of course there are more robots, but there are more friendly robots. You think they're humans actually working still, unlike Carl? Unless you're never turned into a robot, you're just always a robot. It's like a spirit animal or something. Sure, what we're meant to do. Actually, I think it is something to do that way. Probably is. Let's have a look. Anything clickable? No. Okay, it is this way. Right, let's go. Boing, 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 boing. I'm gonna stop doing that because that's probably annoying. 
Now what? Okay, maybe it was that way. You can tell when it's new territory, can't you? Because I get bloody stuck. As soon as the first thing appears. I bet you that wasn't even a puzzle. That's the cell phone. Well, I see cell phone. It wasn't the cell phone. The cell phone's a very old word for it anyway. Right, let's go through the little hole in the ground. Little hole in the ground. I was about to make a very offensive joke there about um, a certain mining incident that happened in 2012. Swipe Omni tool. I forgot the Omni tool back in the shuttle. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. What? Is this actually part of the story? Oh, you bloody game. Why are you troll me? Bet you there's a robot or something down there now. We get wiped out the second we actually go back out. Ooh, this is very bloody. I can't remember it being bloody before. I thought it was a lot cleaner than that. Uh oh. Something's. Oh! Hello! Uh oh. Something's happening. Jump back in there quick. I actually did forget it, didn't I? I wonder if that was meant to happen. If it was meant to happen, that's very good. Um, that's a very good trick. Make the player be focused on other things. And whoever tested that game, they knew what they were doing for those testers. I like that. I really do. Maybe that's a bonus. If anyone is actually playing this game as well as me, who is watching me play it, uh, please tell me whether it's accidental or not. Because I'd love to know. We meant to go up here. Also, look, there's no way we're on a oxygen mask, so we should be dead. Because there's no way we can be this quick and still have an oxygen mask, unless we're Usain Bolt. But I don't think we are. I can find Lambda, right? big in this ocean be? Right. That's... Is that a stupid question? I mean, it's the ocean. It's kind of meant to be big. It covers most of the Earth. So, to say that it's small, you've got to be dumb or joking. In which case, I didn't get the joke. Well, I got the joke, I just had to go at it. Hey, well done me. 350 miles. MILES?! Jesus Christ, he's going to be walking a long time, isn't he? I wonder if this is going to be like The Walking Dead. Like, the journey there is easy, and then everything after that is hard as hell. Like, because Rick only took... I'm going off the comic books here. He only took, I think, one volume to get there. But like everything else, like at the moment I'm on the Cold War Part 2, and good god, is that a heavy battle? Like there's people dying all over the place, big plans, plans going wrong, everything. Honestly, if you're not reading The Walking Dead, bloody buy it, it's a good read. Oh my god, way to sound like a nerd. It's a real read. Actually, it's a comic book. Oh, yeah, that makes it even more nerdy, it's not like a. Well, okay, here's a question. So there's two questions in this same video now. What do you think would be more nerdy if I asked? Or if I said... If I said a book was really good and it's worth a good read? Or if I said a comic was worth a good read? Which of those do you think is the more nerdiest and why? Okay, that's free, technically. 
Because they don't have to answer the question. Just thought I should chat to you guys more. So. Here's my thing we chat. Oh, piss off. <laughs> Get over here. Back off. Don't run your little shit, excuse me. What's your language? Here we go. Open sesame. Uh, my cat's calling me. Okay, so we'll let this filtration go, and then that is the end for today. So, until the next time, I've been Dark there. This has been Soma in Spooktober. Goodbye! Oh, also, I forgot something I want to throw up. Look at that face. <laughs> There's a bloody thing goes. Look at that face, right? I swear it was less robotic before. He used to look like a human being. Maybe as we start to realize that we are robots, it gets robotier and robotier.